Honorable Chairman, Excellencies, Ladies and Gentlemen, I'm Ambassador Safal Dungana from Nepal. It's my pleasure to be the speaker in this conference. Uh, today, I would be talking about the importance of mental health. Mental health is so much more than just the absence of mental illness. It is a combination of our emotional, psychological, and social well-being, and it affects every aspect of our, our lives, like how we think, how we feel, and how we act. It influences how we relate to other people, how we deal with the stresses in our lives, and whether we make healthy or unhealthy lifestyle choices. Emotional and mental health is important because it's a vital part of our life, of your lives, and impact your thoughts, behaviors, and emotions. Being healthy emotionally can promote productivity and effectiveness in activities like work, school, or caregiving. It plays an important part in the health of your relationships and allows you to adapt to changes in your life and cope with adversity. Mental health is important because it can help you to cope with the stresses of life, be physically healthy, have good relationships, make meaningful contribution to your community, realize your full potential. Your mental health is also important because it can affect your physical health. For example, mental disorder can raise your risk for physical health problems such as stroke, type two diabetes, and heart diseases. There are many different factors that can affect your mental health, including biological factors such as genes or brain chemistry. History of mental health problems, your lifestyle, such as diet, physical activities, and substance use. If you have any sign or symptom of any mental illness, see your primary care provider or a mental health professionals. Most mental illness uh, do not improve on their own. And if untreated, a mental illness may get worse over time and cause serious problems. Uh, the five steps to mental well-being are one, connect with other people. Good relationships are important for your uh, mental well-being. They can help you to build a sense of belongingness and self-worth, give you an opportunity to say, uh, share positive experiences, provide emotional support, and allow you to support others. Two, phys be physically active. Being active is not only great for your physical health and fitness. Evidence also shows it can also improve your mental well-being by raising your self-esteem, helping you to set goals, challenges, and achieve them, causing chemical changes in your brain, which can help to positively change your mood. Three, learn new skills. Research also shows that Learning new skills can also improve your mental well-being by boosting self-confidence and raising self-esteem, helping you to build a sense of purpose, uh, helping you to uh, connect with others, who give to others. Research uh, suggests that act of giving and kindness can help improve your mental well-being by creating positive feelings and a sense of reward, giving you a feeling of purpose. Pay attention to the present moment, mindfulness. Paying more attention to the present moment can help your uh, mental well-being. This includes your thoughts and feelings, your body and the world around you. Some people call this honest, that is mindfulness. Mindfulness can help you uh, enjoy life more and understand yourself better. It can positively change the way you feel about life and how you approach challenges. If your loved one shows sign of mental illness, have an op open and honest discussion with him or her about your concern. You may not be able to force someone to get proper Yes, yes, sir. Uh, professional yeah, yeah. care, but you can you. offer Sorry. encouragement and support. You can also help your loved one find a qualified mental health problems, uh, professionals, and make an appointment. You may even be able to go along to the appointment. If your loved one has done self-harm or is considering doing so, take the person to the hospital or call for emergency help. Thank you so much.